to find out whether it's best to be FIPS certified or FIPS compliant, let's consider a hypothetical example from the automotive industry. So ISO 26262 is a guideline for functional safety and is an industry standard for car manufacturers. So assuming two, manuf two, automa two automakers are producing identical cars, except one is ISO 26262 certified and the other is ISO 26262 compliant, which car is more appealing for consumers and why? So as consumers, we tend to associate compliant products with products that satisfy the bare minimum. And we think highly of certified products as the standard bearers against which other products can be measured. Through certification, a car maker appears to say it takes functional safety seriously. And we assume they have the full ISO 26262 implementation. Uh, through certification, we take comfort in knowing a third party validation process has been followed. And overall, the certified car has more credibility in the eyes of the consumer. But the difference between a compliant implementation and a certified implementation is a strategic decision. Um, yeah, and so when it comes to, to FIPS 140, um, should you choose compliant or certified? And it's a good question. And, and so I'll, I'll talk a little bit about this now because um, there are some subtleties. Um, so Canonical provides NIST certified FIPS crypto modules for Ubuntu LTS releases. Um, now, the certification process itself is actually very lengthy um, and can easily take over a year. Um, and as we know, security vulnerabilities are discovered and patched continuously. Um, and this means that by the time the Ubuntu kernel and crypto libraries have been certified, um, they can be well over a year out of date, um, a year behind on security patches and vulnerabilities. And this is obviously far from ideal. So to, to address this, um, we take those modules, the crypto modules, which have been certified, um, and then we kind of backport all the necessary security patches that have come out in the meantime on top of that, uh, which means we've produced a secure up-to-date software that complies with the FIPS requirements. Um, now, I'll, I'll, I'll be clear here, NIST only certifies binary implementations of crypto libraries, um, so that um, those are the ones we ship off uh, to NIST, it takes a year and they come back, it hits your certificates, these are certified by NIST, uh, but those are, yeah, as I said, are out of date. So what we do is we, we take the source code that we had given to NIST and we apply the new patches on top, um, the security patches on top, so they're not bike for bike compatible with the certified libraries, but these patch versions are fully secure, up to date and comply 100% with the uh, with the NIST and FIPS requirements. Um, so obviously there are two scenarios here. We we offer customers both scenarios um, if you need FIPS crypto modules, um, but we strongly recommend that everyone uses our update and fully compliance um, FIPS modules. 